Well, hi there. Welcome to RCC Adventures. Um, I thought I'd do an update for, for Ryan on uh, Ron the uh, little smart car. Um, if you just... Well, hi there. Uh, welcome to an update for RCC Adventures. Uh, Ryan's not here at the moment. He's uh, well, he had his COVID jab yesterday, his second one, and he's not feeling too good. So I thought I'd give uh, a little update on Ron the uh, little smart car. Right, as you can see, um, sorry for the light by the way, and the noise outside, I've no idea what they're doing. Um, right, I can't remember at the moment, so bear with me um, what updates you have had, um, but the engine is in. Um, so if I look from the top, the engine went in oh, a few weeks ago now, and uh, the hardest bit really was trying to get this inlet manifold on. So that's all on, that was done a little while ago. Today I'm just having a play and I've managed to get the exhaust manifold on with turbo. Um, the hardest job really is trying to find where all the wires and pipes and everything go. Um, I don't know if you remember that when we got this, uh, the engine was partially stripped. Um, so it was a project and nothing was labelled. So we had absolutely no idea where everything goes apart from trying to look on the internet. Um, but yeah, so little update. I'll take some pictures as I go. Um, the engine was uh, cleaned out and um, new new bearings, new shells. Uh, head was all cleaned out, new valves and everything. Because as you probably may remember, or if you don't, we had two valves burnt out, and we thought. Uh, we better check the rest of the engine in. It was lucky because the um, oil control rings on the pistons were really gunged up and stuck. And according to the, the interweb, that was the reason, or can be a very good reason, why the valves burn out. So, yeah, just a quick little update. A few minutes, as I say, I'll do some maybe a bit more filming or some pictures for Ryan. Try not to trip over the spare engine, which is down there. Um, so yeah, any more, I'll let you know. Don't bowl by the way, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and comment. Thank you, cheers for now. Right, uh, further update actually, carrying on from the update that was previous. Um, a lot more done actually. Uh, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Well, there we go, uh, wheels are on, rear cross members on the engine I managed to find where all the vac pipes go oh that was a nightmare I mean if you hopefully you can see this but it's just a jumble of absolute pipes and wires um, oh, oh I was doing my nothing but I worked it out luckily I had some other spare parts if you can see in there now it's a bit dark I'll tell you what let me get the light uh, a bit of illumination, that's better. If you look in there, the wires all round here. Up, up in there. Can you see it? So sort of everything's in the way, but uh, take it from me, working on the smart car is a little bit tight. Anyway. Turbo's in. Now we're going to think about trying to make an exhaust. We're going to put a standard one on. So that's where the exhaust comes out. Uh, suspension wheels are on, torqued up. Wheel nuts, uh, sorry, um, drive shafts to rear hubs, torqued up. This shaft is on. But at the moment, I can't get this one to line up. So I'm going to have to probably ratchet strap it. Um, Pull, it, pull that wheel in. So that's why the wheels are on. I've got a bit more I can wrap around to, uh, yeah, to hopefully pull it in. It just won't move. So hopefully we haven't got to start taking things apart if it's not gone in properly. But it looks, the, sharp, the drive shaft looks if it's in enough.
So there's a bit of blue still coming out at the moment, but that's more like likely that it's probably because there's oil in the turbo and in the exhaust. Yeah. Good thing of turning it around. Well, it's now off choke. Might be worth actually taking it out of the container. Letting it clear. We are if filling it. it. If it drives. Well, if there's only one moment to find out, isn't it? Yeah, push it. Yeah. Yep. No drive. Try the, just try a bit of throttle. Okay. Oh well, at the moment, no drive. We've got the gearbox oil up, but we've got no drive. Okay, we'll come back to it. It's already starting to clear up. Awesome. Let it warm up. Yeah, let's see what happens. Push it back in, and then we can check the level of the gearbox oil. Yeah. I'm impressed. So am I. We have done a very good job, eh? We have done a very good job. Look at that, running on all three. Yeah, it only has three. Yes. It's a three cinder engine, in case there's somebody out there for, oh, I thought most cars are four or something like that. You're right, there must be, there, there was oil in all the pipes and everything. Yeah. It's already nowhere near as bad as it was. You ready? Come on, I'm gonna try again. So what we're gonna try to do, what we've done now is Ryan found a how to reprogram the gearbox. So we're gonna see if that makes any difference. Right, okay, well that's a development, it's not jumping. So last time, which first we tried, it wouldn't come out of neutral. Oh, it's jumping again now, but it was saying neutral. No. Okay, so no, still no good. Yeah. Right, so here we go, first time, will it move? Oh, we have movement. Come straight back. Straight back. Go on, you're all right on the ramps. Right, just coming over the edge.
Go on then. Whoa, he moves. Ronnie's alive. Right, what you got to do? Over to the left. Over to the left. So now that's in manual. Right. You can see there it says the one. Yep. You press the button. Oh. Puts yeah. it in auto. Right, okay. Then you can drive it. That's, I think the auto is a three speed. Mm hmm. Where if you put it in manual, it's five. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That's first drive in. Ron, now if you remember rightly, we got this as a complete non-run and the engine was completely stripped. So, yeah. So wait for him to come back around again. Having a bit of fun. Well, we know it goes into one and two, so. And it goes in reverse because obviously reversed out of the container. So yeah, just wait for him to come around. We are going to be changing the exhaust at some point because it's too quiet. Here he comes. And I'll uh, zoom in a bit. You can see him coming along. They are definitely weird things, aren't they, old smart cars? But they are so cool at the same time. Get back out again, he's getting close now. Huh? Well, it's weird, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so, do you have to come off? You have to come off the throttle, do you? Or... Yeah. Right, I didn't do that, but you did it in the done it on the second time. It's so weird. Yeah, so as you come off the throttle, you push forward to go into gear. Right. Cool bananas. Yeah. Yes, how cool is that? The car that had a completely, basically stripped engine, which then we had to strip some more. You see it's reversing. Oh yeah, it's like a proud daddy moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the first time, so in two days, that's the first time he's ran in our ownership. Yeah. And then today, that's the first time he's moved in our ownership. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And he runs sweet as well. It does. It's still puffing a bit, but I don't know whether that's, that's got set or what yet. Yeah. Now it's just for the fact of getting him to run sweet, not smoke. And uh, yeah, get him ready for an MOT. Cause... Put him together, yeah. I mean, it might be worth, I mean, that might be just normal where it's, it might be worth um, putting him to see what he fails on. If yeah. it is emissions, we know then, don't we? Yeah. Alright, cool bananas, that was good. Yeah. Right, you can now see what it looks like driving this. See how it goes. Just around, the, obviously we're on private land, so uh, we're all right here for the moment.
driving, he's running, driving, just need to get him to uh, be MOT now. And uh, yeah, he's done really well. I'm so proud, and I know Dad is as well. So uh, thank you for watching. This has been an RCC Adventures, and we'll catch you in the next one. And please remember to subscribe. There you go, just a quick little drive. I'm going to try and get in the container now, which is going to be fun. Well, yep, so there you go, speak to you soon.